welcome back to 504 Road Trips and today we're at the Homewood Suites by Hilton uh, San Antonio Airport. We'll have a quick look around the lobby and breakfast area before we head up to the room. This hotel features all suites bringing you the comfort of home and the convenience of the office. A full hot breakfast is offered daily with an evening social and complimentary cocktails Monday through Thursday. If you prefer to cook your own meals, each suite has a full kitchen. Parking is free and convenient and the entire hotel is non-smoking. our King Studio Suite and we'll get a quick overview of the room. And then we'll start with the basic safety features as always. We have the emergency evacuation plan and this is us right here. Elevators here, stairwell here, stairwell here. Maximum room rate $499. That's not anywhere near what we paid. We have a peephole, safety latch. This is one of those electronic deadbolts. It's not actually mechanical, it just keeps the key from opening the door. And a sh sign you sleep in will keep out. So as we walk in, we have this laminate floor section here. We have a little desk and ergonomic chair, a telephone on the desk, and a lamp with a couple of power outlets, and then four more power outlets here. And it's those child safety outlets that keeps kids from sticking fingers or whatever into the outlet. Ice bucket. We have a little kitchen area here and it's got a uh, full-size refrigerator freezer and it's nice and cold. Refrigerator stocked with Gatorade. Complimentary evening, evening social calendar. They only do that Monday through Thursday though, so if you're here on the weekend you don't get the complimentary evening social. Have a full-size microwave cooktop with two burners, large burner and a small burner, and a sink with hot and cold running water. Actually included a roll of paper towels, a small Mr. Coffee coffee maker, and the sink does have a disposal, and we got some Rainforest Select coffee, regular and decaf. Couple of tea bags, coffee made, sugar, sweet and low, salt and pepper. Dishwasher. And under here, oh, a little garbage can, dispose all. And under the stove, I got some pots and pans, a toaster. I don't know if you can see that because it's dark in there. Colander, another pot. And no drawers in the kitchen. We've got some overhead cabinets here. That's just oh, another ice bucket. I wonder why we need two ice buckets. We have all kind of measuring cups here. Corkscrew, can opener. Oh, there's there's the silverware since there's no drawers. Measuring spoons, but it really really can prep you to cook here. We got bowls and plates and saucers. Bunch of glasses, coffee mugs, small glasses, paper cups, P 
pitcher. This is one of those microwave cooker containers and some Tupperware type stuff and a little cutting board. It's actually a glass cutting board. So that's a pretty impressive kitchen. A big full length mirror here. As we move in to the room, this lamp has a 5 volt 1 amp USB and it's got a regular 110 outlet. Lots of outlets all over the room. This is a sofa and it is a sleeper sofa, pull out bed. lamp here. There's no electric outlets on this lamp, but there's one in the corner down there. And we have this footrest coffee table combo that kind of moved around. Relatively small television with a remote and an Insignia DVD player. I don't think I've ever come across a DVD player in a hotel room. It doesn't actually seem to work. Oh, nope, there it goes. No DVD in it, though, so no free movie tonight. Some drawers here. All of which are empty. And over here, we got a nightstand, the drawer, power outlet on the lamp, and a basic alarm clock, not a radio, just an alarm clock. And this is a king size bed. Another end table here. Nothing in the drawer. No Bible, no phone book. Power outlet and another telephone. And they gave us two king size pillows and two regular pillows. Really soft. They feel like feather pillows are down or something like that. Bed feels nice and soft. This is a circuit breaker panel. That's kind of unattractive. And it doesn't close either. The air condition is over here under the window. And inside of this it says the unit is controlled by the wall thermostat which is over here. And this is a pretty basic thermostat. Set the temperature, cool off for heat, and then fan on. And that's good because it is 104 degrees outside right now. So then we'll move into the bathroom. So in the bathroom we have this lighted mirror with lights on either side of the vanity. Sink has hot and cold running water box of Kleenex, Neutrogena conditioner, body lotion, shampoo, bath soap, uh, I guess that's hand soap, and we got washcloths, hand towels, bath towels down here, and a garbage can, and one drawer which has makeup remover wipes in it. We got a whole bunch of makeup remover wipes. Over here is a closet, and in the closet we have extra bedding, I guess, for the pull-out couch. This is, that's a hair dryer, regular hangers, an iron, suitcase rack, and an ironing board, and boy, the, the foam under the cover on this ironing board is, is in pretty rough shape, and this is the cover. You couldn't really use that ironing board for much of anything. And then the bathroom itself. A normal toilet. Some artwork on the wall. And it's dark in here. This is a regular sliding door shower. No Oops. And it looks like just a pretty regular shower head. I don't know if you can see that since it's so dark in here. 
this is just like the uh, shower head we saw at the, at the true we stayed at last week. Doesn't really work very well. They don't have enough water pressure in these places to make those shower heads run properly. So that's pretty much it for the room. Did want to get a shot out the window and what we see behind us is the Hilton Garden Inn which uh, didn't have any suitable rooms available. That's our view. This is the media room. Places to plug stuff in, USB ports. That's interesting, that's something we've never seen in a hotel before. <laughs> this hotel features an indoor pool. Apparently heated also. And a guest laundry as well. So this concludes our hotel tour. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. Share and follow us on social media and join us for our next 504 road trip.